I'm Joe, fleet manager at Silchuck Transport, and today we're going to go over weight distribution. We just got done loaded, secured our load, now we're going to look up nearest cat scale or certified truck scale, make sure we're not overweight. If you're overweight, it can affect your steering, your braking, and also it can get you an overweight ticket. You can download the cat scale app and look up your nearest one to you. Our nearest one is a Catskill in Frankfurt. All right, let's go. Weight distribution is important for many reasons. If you're overweight on your drive axles, you could potentially be taking weight off your steer axle, which then it uh, takes away your steering control and you can get into an accident and lose control of the truck and trailer. If you're overweight on your trailer axles, you do damage to the trailer, along with you could be taking weight off your drive axles and make it very unbalanced on the truck side. Luckily for us, from our warehouse, we have a cat scale. That's like 15 minutes away. You don't need to just use a cat scale. Any certified truck scale will work. Catskill is just the most popular one. Make sure you got proper weight on your steer axle, your drive axles, and your trailer axles. Poorly distributed weight, it can affect the braking power, and you don't want that. Now we're at the cat scales. We're going to pull up here, pull on the scale, and call in. You can either call or use the app. Hello? First way or we way? Uh, first way. Standard oversight. Standard. Tractor number? Uh, three, two, three. All right, you're ready. Thank you. I'll pull off the scale and we will go up to the front desk and get our ticket. All right, now I'm gonna go inside and get the weight ticket. Now that we're gonna get our weight ticket, let's talk about the signs behind weight distribution. Right here we have a seesaw and the pivot point, which is like the tandems on your trailer, will add some weight to it. As you can see here, we are perfectly balanced. Now we're moving our pivot point to the front, which is getting heavier in the rear and lighter in the front. Now we can take that pivot point and move it to the rear, which is then going to lighten up the rear end and put some more weight on the front, which will also affect your drive axle weight and your steer axle. Now we will transition into our truck and trailer and bring up our weights per the axles. Now that we have our truck and trailer in the picture and our weight ticket, and we're allowed an 80,000 pound gross. Um, your steer axle, you're allowed up to 12,500 pounds due to our APU systems. Uh, as long as you do not exceed 80,000 total gross weight, we're allowed 34,000 on our drives and 34,000 on our tandems. You've got your sliding tandem, which distributes the weight on the trailer side and it also changes weight on the drive axles and a little bit on the steer axles. To slide the tandem, you have to apply the trailer brakes and then drive the tractor forward or back it up. Then we also have our sliding fifth wheel, which in order to slide that, you have to 
drop your landing gear down to where it touches the ground, lower the tractor suspension, and release the sliding fifth wheel. And then you can either back the tractor up or drive forward. On our ticket, we had 13,280 pounds on our steer axle, which is overweight. 34,800 pounds on our drive axle, which is also overweight. And 28,220 pounds on our trailer tams, which is good, bringing us to a total of 75,300. Now we can adjust that by sliding our tandem forward which you can see our numbers changing. It will also take a little bit of weight off your steer axle. That brought our steer axle to 13,000 pounds. Our drive axle to 33,160, which is great. And our tandems to 30,140 30, pounds, which is also perfect. Our steer axle is still overweight, so we'll try adjusting our fifth wheel. As you see in the picture, our fifth wheel is slid all the way forward. We're going to slide it back. Now sliding our fifth wheel back is also going to change the weight on our drive axle as well a little bit. It won't affect your trailer axles. With our fifth wheel slid back, we are now at 12,200 pounds, which is perfect on our steer axle. 33,500 on our drives and 30,140 on our cams. That is a perfectly weight distributed load. Now let's go back to our yard and practice moving the tandems and the fifth wheel. All right, no rear slide tandems. You gotta make sure your trailer already has aired up. Um, we've been driving, so the trailer already has air. So we'll go out and push the pull the button. All right, the button's on your uh, rear slider. It's right in front of your front duals. You just pull that out too. And you can watch your four, well, two pins on this side pull in and two pins on the other side. From there, go back up to the truck. You're going to spy air brakes on the truck side. We will back up. Trailer really brakes. Give it a little tug. Make sure that those pins are locked into the nearest hole. All right. Now, to adjust the fifth wheel, mount, grab your company supplied gloves, lower the trailer landing gear to where they hit the ground. From there, we'll also come back up to the truck. Now, to slide the fifth wheel, lower your rear suspension. Push the sliding fifth wheel button. Give it a moment for your suspension to lower. Pull forward or back up slowly till you're where you want to be. Button. Back up a little bit, pull forward, make sure it's locked in place. Push your suspension button back up.
and you're all set. Now we will go back up to do a rewind. So your first initial weigh-in at a scale is $13. Now up to 24 hours at that same location, you can do a reweigh, which drops the price down to $3.50 each way. So it is a discounted rate to uh, get right. And that is at that same location that you got your initial weight at. Reway? Eight zero eight zero. Thank you. We are now at 12,200 pounds, which is perfect on our steer axle. 33,500 on our drives and 30,140 on our cams. That is a perfectly weight distributed load.